The feud between Tyrese Gibson and Dwayne The Rock Johnson continues. When Johnson, who plays Luke Hobbs in the action-packed Fast and Furious film series, announced that he would be starring in his own spin-off movie Hobbs and Shaw, Gibson, known for playing the fast-talking former convict Roman Pierce, began viewing his franchise co-star as something of an enemy. Tension between the two has been high for years now, but in the days following the August 2nd launch of Hobbs and Shaw, things have reached a boiling over point. <laughs> that was his joke. Gibson recently took to Instagram to slam Johnson for his decision to film Hobbs and Shaw before the ninth Fast and Furious movie, poke fun at Hobbs and Shaw's 180 million worldwide opening weekend, and hint that Johnson and his co-star Jason Statham will experience continued backlash from others. Gibson also seemed to imply that the only reason why Johnson is a favorite in Hollywood is because he has been part of, quote, at least 15 franchises and is continually asked to star in sequels. Gibson wrote in a now-deleted post, in part, I have to show my respects for one thing. He tried. Folks called me a hater, attacked me for speaking out. Breaking up the family clearly doesn't have the value that one would assume it does. You know what, maybe, just maybe, The Rock and the crew will come dance with us again for Fast 10. We can all hug it out and get back to giving the true fans who have supported this franchise for 20 years what they want. No hating, I'm just pointing out the facts. Fast Family has more value as the Fast Family. It's okay, there won't be any tears on his pillow tonight. $180 million global opening on Hobbs and Shaw is not a win. When you do get attacked, well, that's that. Again, my respects, because he tried his best. This is just the latest shot fired in the Gibson vs. Johnson battle. Gibson has been publicly unhappy with Johnson since news of the Hobbs and Shaw spinoff hit in 2017. In Gibson's defense, Hobbs and Shaw did complicate the production of Fast and Furious 9. Longtime screenwriter Chris Morgan left the project to work on Hobbs and Shaw, and despite Gibson's pleas to Johnson to prioritize Fast and Furious 9 over the spin-off flick, the movie was pushed back. Fast and Furious 9 was ultimately delayed nearly a year, moving from its planned April 19, 2019 release date to April 10, 2020. The premiere date change was seemingly what sent Gibson over the edge. In another post on his Instagram page, uploaded in October 2017, Gibson wrote a scathing message openly blaming Johnson for delaying Fast and Furious 9. Congratulations to The Rock and your brother-in-law, aka Seven Bucks producing partner Hiram Garcia, for making the Fast and Furious franchise about you. And like you, DJ, even if they call, I will not be deleting this post. Good night, folks. See you in 2020 April. Fast family, right? Nah, it's about Team Dwayne. And the actor previously called Johnson out over Hobbs and Shaw on Instagram, writing, If you move forward with that Hobbs movie, you will have purposely ignored the heart-to-heart -heart moment we had in my sprinter. I don't want to hear from you until you remember what we talked about. I'm on your timeline because you're not responding to my text messages. Fast family is just that, a family. We don't fly solo. And in November 2017, Gibson threatened to quit the Fast and Furious franchise if Johnson got to be in both Hobbs and Shaw and Fast 9. He wrote on Instagram, I'm sorry to announce that if Dwayne is in Fast 9, there will be no more Roman Pierce. He went on to call Johnson a clown and worse, ultimately accusing him of using steroids to obtain his ultra-ripped physique and implying that Johnson's professional decisions have, quote, messed with his family. Gibson explained in a separate post that he was primarily mad at Johnson for agreeing to the spin-off film without considering how it might affect Gibson's own life, finances, and personal struggles, which at the time included paying for unidentified legal fees and apparently fighting for custody of his daughter. Gibson wrote, All I asked you to do privately was not accept a role that would deeply affect us all. You are simply not the people's champ. You are a selfish champ. I'm almost broke swimming in legal fees. Make sure you kiss your two daughters when you get home. I wish I could, but I can't afford to fight for my baby anymore, so they're likely going to take her away." Just a few days after sharing those posts to Instagram, Gibson again took to his social media platform of choice to state that he had smoothed things over with one of Johnson's associates, and was excited to return for Fast and Furious 9 since veteran franchise director Justin Lin was confirmed to be at the helm. He also said it would be his last post about Johnson, which, well, didn't exactly pan out. This fiasco could be the final battle in the war between Gibson and Johnson, as Johnson won't be involved with Fast and Furious 9. Whether or not Gibson can let bygones be bygones remains to be seen, but it looks like the 